Nationals hosting the Chicago Cubs. The Cubs are minus 160 on the money line. The Nationals are plus 135. The over under is eight and a half runs. The Cubs laying a run and a half or plus 100, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win this game by two. The Nationals getting a run and a half or minus 120, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Steele has pitched once against the Nationals this year. Six innings, two runs, two earned. They won that game four to two. Corbin pitched once against the Cubs last year. Five innings, three runs, three earned. They lost that game 6-3 to three in Chicago. The Cubs are on a two-game losing streak. They are 6-4 and four in their last 10. They are 23-33 and 33 on the road this year. They have won Steele's last two starts. They're 9-12 and 12 with him on the mound. The under has hit in his last three games, although the over is 10-9-2 and two in the games in which he pitches in. The Cubs are 500 on the run line. They are 58 and 58, meaning if you've been betting them getting or laying runs, you're 500. The Nationals are on a one game winning streak. They're 3 and 7 in their last 10. They are 19 and 42 at home. They've lost Corbin's last nine starts. They are 3 and 19 with him on the mound. The under is 12, 9 and 1. The over has hit in his last two games, and they are 48 and 69 on the run line, meaning if you've been betting them getting or laying runs, they are 21 games under 500. However, the Nationals hit left-handed batters, or pitchers, forgive me, much better than the Cubs do. So food for thought, because both of these uh, pitchers are lefties. The home team's on a two-game winning streak. The home team is seven and three. These teams are five and five against each other in their last 10. The underdog getting a run and a half is seven and three. The over is five, four, and one in their last 10. That's what the casino sets it at. There have been five one-run games in their last 10 meetings. And the over eight and a half is six and four. I'm going to take the Nationals with the money line, the Nationals with the runs, and the over because they're home and because they hit lefties better. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.